Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Dear students, hope so you are all well and doing amazing. This video on how animals harvest energy from stored nutrients contain instructive and educational content that is why easy and shareable to retain. So let's start. Our main topic is how animals harvest energy from stored nutrients. First of all, we will talk about glycolysis. Glycolysis is the breakdown of glucose molecule in a series of reaction into two pyruvate molecules with the net production of ATP. Basically, glyco glycolysis is the first nutrient metabolic pathway. It is also called ambidon meyerhof pathway. It occurs in cytosol and it occurs in the presence or in the absence of oxygen. In the presence of oxygen, it forms pyruvate and in the absence of oxygen, it forms lactate as an end product. Glycolysis is the 10 step process. 7 steps are reversible and 3 steps are irreversible. It is the major pathway to produce ATP, especially in those tissues which have not mitochondria, for example in cancer cells. 2 NADH and 2 net production of ATP are the end product of glycolysis. Enzymes for the glycolysis pathway are present in cytosomal fraction of the cell. Intermediate of glycolysis provide branch points to the other pathways. This diagram shows how glucose molecule is baked down into two pyruvate molecules within a series of reaction by use of enzymes. Each enzyme is specific for its own function. So, first of all, glucose molecule is converted into glucose 6-phosphate which is converted into fructose 6-phosphate and fructose 6-phosphate is converted into fructose 1,6-phosphate. Fructose 1,6-phosphate is further converted into two molecules. The first one is glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate and the second one is dihydroxyacetone phosphate these two molecules are basically isomers to each other. Glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate is further converted into 1,3-biphosphoglycerate which is further converted into 3-phosphoglycerate. 3-phosphoglycerate is converted into 2-phosphoglycerate which is further converted into 2-phosphophenylpyruvate. This 2-phosphophenylpyruvate is further converted into 2 pyruvate. Here, the four ATP molecules are generated by which two ATP molecules are reused in this and two net ATP molecules are produced as an end product and two NADH molecules is also produced as an end product. Now, we will study about fermentation. Fermentation is the metabolic process which converts sugar into acid, gases or alcohols. Lois Poster was the first person who used this term first time. In fermentation, glucose molecule is break down anaerobically or in the absence of oxygen. Fermentation basically occurs in the yeast, bacteria and in muscle cells. Lactic acid, alcohol, vinegar, yogurt, cheese are the products of fermentation. This equation shows how pyruvate molecule is react with NADH to produce reduced compound and NAD+. Here, the reduced compound is organic acid in the form of lactic acid or alcohol. Two types of fermentation are present. The first one is lactic acid fermentation and the second one is alcoholic fermentation. In the process of fermentation, no more ATP is produced, only Oxidized form of NADH is reduced. Two techniques. The first one is solid state fermentation and the second one is submerged fermentation are used. This diagram shows how, how pyruvate molecule in the process of glycolysis undergoes in the fermentation which might be lactic acid fermentation or alcoholic fermentation. So, the pathway from pyruvate to ethanol is called alcoholic fermentation and the pathway from pyruvate to lactate is called lactic acid fermentation. Here, we will talk about aerobic respiration. The respiration which occurs in the presence of oxygen is known as aerobic respiration. In aerobic respiration, 
complete breakdown of glucose molecule to produce ATP in the presence of oxygen. Aerobic respiration occurs in the mitochondria. It involves Krebs cycle and electron transport chain. This equation shows that how glucose molecule is converted into carbon dioxide, water and ATP molecule in the presence of oxygen. Large amount of energy produced in the form of ATP in aerobic respiration. Here is the cycle of tricarboxylic acid cycle or you can say Krebs cycle or citric acid cycle in which oxaloacetate is converted into citrate molecule which is further converted into isocitrate and isocitrate is converted into alpha ketoglutrate which is further converted into succinyl CoA. Succinyl CoA is converted into succinate which is further converted into fumarate and fumarate is converted into malate and malate finally converted into oxaloacetate and oxaloacetate again act as a precursor and distort this cycle. You can see in this cyclic process a lot of enzymes are used and each enzyme is used for its own reaction. Students remember always one thing. Two Krebs cycle require to break down one molecule of glucose. So two ATP, two FADH2, six NADH and four carbon dioxide are produced. Here you can see the diagram of electron transport chain in which ions transport through the chain and ATP molecule is produced by ATP synthase. Here you can see the summary chart of the products of all the process of cellular respiration. The first one is glycolysis in which two NADH and two NAD ATP molecules are produced. The second one is pyruvic acid conversion in which two NADH and two carbon dioxide molecules are produced. In Krebs cycle, two FADH2, six NADH, two NAD ATP and four carbon dioxide molecules are produced. In electron transport chain, only 34 NAD ATP molecules are produced. So the total NAD molecules are 2 FADH2, 10 NADH, 38 NAD ATP and 6 carbon dioxide. Here the metabolism of fats and protein are given. Basically, by breakdown of fats, proteins and carbohydrates, we use energy for cellular activities. So we can say the metabolism of these molecules used as a fuel for cellular respiration. Breakdown of fats give cholesterol and fatty acid and breakdown of proteins molecules give amino acids. This diagram shows how proteins, carbohydrates and fats molecules are baked down into their basic units and undergoes in the process of glycolysis, acetyl-CoA, citric acid cycle and oxidative phosphorylation to produce ATP. Here the control of metabolism. As we all know, cells efficiently produce energy and sometimes this energy is accumulated. So the certain enzymes stop this process to generate ATP. Here the energy is protected to waste and product inhibition mechanism is also used for this purpose. Control of, in control of metabolism synchronize the rates of glycolysis and Krebs cycle. This flowchart shows how a certain enzyme which is phosphofructokinase regulate the metaboli metabolic pathway by increasing and decreasing its, resp its response to signal. Now the last one is metabolic pool. The diagram shows how the food which might be polysaccharide fats and proteins is converted into their basic units and how these units 
passes into glycolysis acetyl-CoA Krebs cycle and electron transport chain to produce ATP molecule. Basically, this metabolic pool maintains a balance between catabolism and anabolism and it also maintains homeostasis. This metabolic pool supplies material for cellular activities. Thank you so much guys to listen to me so patiently.